hello and in my quest for more 164 ish companies and makes i have come across a company by the name of daron as you can see i've already taken them and taken them out because well for two reasons one i got a microphone like a couple hours after i did the first video which you're hearing right now it should be better than normal i've already checked the audio it's pretty good but there's still going to be white noise in the background uh this microphone is an amazing it's like a 20 dollar thing and from what i've heard it's pretty good another thing uh this is just part of life living in new york it's always going to be noisy so my apologies but i guess it is what it is the other thing is i think i was a little negative on darren on the first time i talked about it and a few hours later i feel like i have kind of a different opinion on it and I'm just gonna get into it. So this is a uh, the NYPD gift pack. There's 10 items inside and you can get it on Amazon for $10. I actually uh, bought it on eBay because I thought it was gonna ship a little quicker. Paid, uh, let's just say it paid a little bit more. And I got it and my first reaction was disappointment because I think I've said it a couple of times in my earlier videos 164 figures are pretty hard to get and when I saw this okay this comes with figures and I was very dumb without thinking about it so, okay awesome it's got 164 scale figures and they're gonna be nice so normally sometimes a pretty well made 164 figures can go to like 10 12 dollars on themselves and if it's like part of a 10 dollar pack two of them is pretty good and I didn't really check whether they were in scale. I thought they were designed to go with their own vehicles, so they should be in scale, right? It might not be a perfect 164. A few things are figures or vehicles, but it should be pretty close. Whoops, um, knocked down a couple of signs. So this is a um, green light 164 figure, one I really like. This is the Darren ones that are supposed to go with the vehicles. They are humongous. And do you see these four traffic cones? Whoopsie. You can trap him underneath. Look at that. They are way too huge. So these figures and these orange cones are going straight into a drawer. They are not useful, unfortunately. I think they're really well made. They're a kind of like a hard-ish rubber. It's not super soft, but it's not plastic either. They're well painted. There's some pain problems with the other figure in terms of um, paint bleed down here, but otherwise they're well made. If I if I do like 150 or I don't know if this is 150 or maybe even larger than 150, but if I do them, they're they're gonna be fine enough for uh, how cheap they are. But for 160 stuff, 164 stuff that I mostly do, they're gonna be completely useless. And then let's get to the vehicles. Vehicles are actually uh, when I first got them again, I was a little disappointed. I thought well. Men, I guess. Oh, I did it again. And because first I thought these were uh, unlicensed vehicles. And I think the SUV still is. I don't know what kind of car it is. It's ki it, it reminds me of a Ford Bronco. It could be uh, like a Chevy uh, Blazer or maybe a Hummer or maybe a Jeep. It got no information. The print. I gotta say, the Darren paint is really well done. It's better. I am going to say it's better than a basic Hot Wheels vehicle because today uh, I actually also went to gr went grocery shopping and on my way I also got a Dodge 68 Dodge Dart, the uh, green Mopar one. And the paint was shit. There's so many chips from um, the black part of it, the white part of it. I actually took some, um, I actually took some nail polish to it. You can see it here and it didn't turn out well but it's it was pretty bad to begin with so i actually made it worse but i know it's only a one dollar vehicle but like come on like matchbox is also a mattel company and they do it so much better the print is crispier and the uh there's also a lot better uh, quality control with matchbox i feel like so I'm actually, um, like later on after uh, opening up the Dodge Dart and trying to fix it, being so frustrated, I was like, I really appreciate Davon for their paint job. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a fantasy vehicle or if it's not. I think this might be a little... No, this is just shadow. 
or if it's supposed to be actual car it doesn't really say um, down here you can see it's uh, it says um, real toy whatever that is this is made in China but, like I appreciate the paint so much other details the wheels are not good I'm gonna get to the other uh, police car that one is much better but the wheels is pretty ugly I would say it's not great there are Hot Wheels vehicles that have similar wheels. For instance, I'm actually going to open up the um, display cabinet again. This is a car I really like. I'm just going to pick it up by its wheels because I don't want to get paint there. The paint on my hand should be dry. Like, look at this amazing um, classic Mercedes. The wheels, they stand out and not in a good way, I would say. So, um, but the smaller wheels, don't look half as bad as the larger wheels. Larger wheels just look even worse. So that's a problem. These cars roll very well though. I didn't push it right, but like it's it's Hot Wheels level playability. And the same thing goes with the other sedan as well. This is a Ford Crown Victoria. I'm very impressed by the quality. And these pieces, the white roof, the I think this is a loudspeaker as well as the police lights. These are all plastic inserts, so that's very well done. The thing is, the roof is a little flimsy. I actually push it around. I think you might be able to take it off. I don't know. I don't really want to try. I don't want to break it. But yeah, it's overall for the price. Like look at it. Uh, it's not going to pick up on camera, but I assure you, you can see the details with a um, magnifying glass. It's very well made. I don't know what kind of car it is, or if it's actually based on a real car before a police SUV, it's very well done. And it's not perfect 164, but it's actually pretty close, I would say. And this one though, this one for sure is based on a real vehicle because it said so. Originally, I thought the Darren ones are all gonna be fantasy, which I kind of accepted. But then I saw the back of the package, which says officially licensed Ford vehicles. So, oh, there's gonna be Ford stuff. So this one might actually be a Ford Bronco that's just badly done, I don't know, because there's no other um, car company licenses. So if it's licensed, it's probably gonna be Ford, but don't take my word for it. And this one actually says down here, it is a Ford Crown Victoria. This is the second generation. You can tell because um, the, uh, the nose is a bit more standard. It's no longer that very aerodynamic design. And again, look at the paint. Check out the printing, it's perfect. Like, I look at it over and over again. It is much better than a lot of the uh, Hot Wheels main lines you get. And this is from a company I've never heard of. Apparently, they do a lot of, like, die-cast planes and stuff, but they don't have a lot of uh, cars, as far as I know. And again, there's another... Uh, the lights are a uh, separate insert plastic insert piece. The front lights are a little bit bland, but, you know, a lot of Hot Wheels ones are like this too. Of course, the best Hot Wheels models have the um, detailed paints that look at look more 3D. But some of the uh, some of the mainline Hot Wheels vehicles have lights like this, and this is fine. And also got side mirrors, so though uh, no painting, but no metallic print in there. But again, it's uh, I'm gonna compare it to a mainline vehicle because that's roughly the cost. And unfortunately, also no back printing, no uh, no detailed backlights. There are backlights, but not very detailed. There's no, there's no, uh, what are they called? There's no license plate, but it's, it's all right. I'm not expecting a ton, but just look at the levels of print. And how those have a lot of great designs, but they're usually not executed as well. This is a, this car is a brand new one I got from a while ago. Like, just look at all of these white paint missing, white paint missing, missing. And the, uh, actually the badge is pretty cool. It says, this is a, a Porsche Panamera with the, uh, you can probably hear uh, police cars going by. It says HWPD, is that what it is? Yeah, but it says Polizei, it's the uh, German uh, Federal Police of Windows Polizei design. And look, there's more white paint missing here. And oh, this one was mint in the box and look, Oh, I can't believe it. And to think like a company like Mattel and Hot Wheels can't do it right, but a random company that you've never heard of can do it so well. And not for much cheap, much more expensive. So it's a little frustrating for Hot Wheels. And again, Crown Victoria rolls very well. I did the math 
and it comes out to a 69, uh, 169 scale, so probably 170. It's not a perfect 164, but it's not claiming to be in most toy orientated models aren't perfect 164 anyway. I'm not expected to get auto world quality here. And we do have two other accessories and these will go, are going to scale pretty well, I'd say with your, um, with your Hot Wheels and your other similar size vehicles. So, so slow, stop, slow. It's a sticker here, sticker here. Not a print, but that's all right. And here it says Police Department, NYPD, City of New York. Cool. These um, stickers are applied very well. There's no bubbles inside, so it's all right. So basically, in a, in a $10 pack, unfortunately, all of this stuff is useless basically useless for my purposes at least. For a kid, they're probably not gonna care about the scale, but I do. But there's one thing, uh, Daron actually sells five vehicle packs. There's a uh, NYPD and there's a uh, NY fire department. So if you're interested, you can get those. But one, my one problem is you're not really gonna know the cars that come with it because it's not really labeled. It doesn't say on the box what cars they are. So um, for someone that's not super into cars i don't really know if that's going to be a fantasy or generic unlicensed casting or is it going to be an actual licensed casting based on a real car until i open it so that's a down side but again just look at this sedan sedan this police interceptor this crown victoria it's got like the paint the details it's got it and especially the chrome wheels because if you know hot wheels the chrome go oh the chrome paint chips really easily but see all those stuff is here this random company can do it right but at the end of the day i well pay more than ten dollars but you can pay ten dollars and these four are the only things you get so in that regard it's a little disappointing but that's also on me for not checking the characters but if you're buying a five pack the five vehicle pack for I don't know how much that would be maybe ten dollars probably less shipped I feel like you get your money's worth with the vehicles but again you're not really sure if it's a licensed model or not so that's something but as far as quality goes pretty good so this is my look at Daron I think the cars are very well done um, thank you for watching